So if you are wanting to be a YouTuber or you want to be upscaling your technology that you're using, maybe this is the camera that you need to use. Now, Upspot have kindly sent me three of the Upspot Tail Airs to test out and do review, which is what I'm doing for you right now. And if you're thinking about having a multi-camera setup, which is going to enable you to record in 4K and also do live streams and maybe do a bit of podcasting, I think these are the cameras that you need to use for what you're getting out of the box that's ready to go straight away. This is what you need. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how it's done. Now, if you want something simple and easy to maneuver, to set up, to record with, these are the cameras that you should be thinking about using. If you want to find out all the ins and outs of the software, check out this video. Now, I'm just going to give you a breakdown of what you can actually do if you own three tail airs. Now, you may be thinking that's a little bit extreme. Why do you need three cameras? Well, sometimes you need three points of view. You need this one, this one, and this one. So this is one of the lovely boxes that the tail airs come in. And as I said, I have three of them. One, two, and three. So not just three cameras, but also the remote as well. Now this remote is unique because it allows you to manage all three of your tail airs or two or one of your tail airs, depending on how many you have. And you can do all kinds of stuff with it. And it just doesn't work as a remote for the tail airs. You can use it as a pointer. You can use it to change the angles. You can use it to zoom in. You can set up three different types of scenes. So you could just jump in and out of a zoom or right in your hands. So let's move these aside for a moment and just check out the fact that I have these three cameras. Now, because I've got three cameras, obviously I'm gonna have to use a separate camera to show you all about this, or I'm gonna have to take one off. So I'm gonna take the one to my right, which is this one, and I'm gonna break it down and show you what it looks like. Hey, Flux Automators, I hope you are enjoying what I'm bringing to you on the channel. And if you do, please do me a favor by subscribing, liking, and hit the notification, check out some other videos on the channel, and also use the link in the bio if you wanna buy any of these products because it helps the channel so I can buy more stuff and bring you some real reviews with no restrictions, no filter. All right, let's get back to the video. So this is the tail air in hand and I'm moving it around just so you can get to see it in all its glory. Now, sorry about the fingerprints. So here you have a lovely LED that shows you the status of what your camera is set to. You got your camera here. So you've got that three axis gimbal. So as I'm turning it around right now, you can see it's focusing on something. So right now it is focusing on this light. Um, let's get it focusing on me. Okay, it should stick now. Okay, so we're in live mode and I'm moving it around. And as you can see, you know, it's following me. So it'll turn. Okay, so I'll get it, I've got it to, I've got it to follow my face right now. So you can see, I can turn it all the way here and it will swivel. Okay. And you can change all kinds of settings uh, within the camera. So on the other side, right here, you have a slot for your SD card, and then you have a micro HDMI out. So you can go from this into another external recorder. So you have your screw mount here, so you can add this and put it on a tripod. Uh, you've got some extra pins here, I think it's for updating and things like that. Uh, I'm not too sure 100% what they're for, but I haven't had to use them so far. And then last but not least, right here, you have an external record button. Okay, so you can just click this and it will start recording straight away. And before I forget, you have your USB-C, which is used for charging, but also to connect to your computer. Now, right now I have it connected to the computer. So I'm recording on screen. I'll show you exactly what that looks like right now. So right now you can see we have the application so from here, you can see the three different cameras and the angles that you have, and you can go in and change a lot of the settings. So right now you can hit this to start the cameras recording. So you can go to each individual camera 
and set it to record. So you can record one, you can have all three recording and just recording right now directly to the unit itself. Now you can have it so it can record to the computer. But right now I'm using this, so I'm gonna go and do some editing later on. So as I said before, if you wanna know more about how the software works, I have another video, the Tiny2, which uses the same Arbusbot Center. So you can go in and you can change all these things on the Tiny2, but exactly the same on here, except for the fact that you can record internally to these devices. So you can go into your images, you can change your focusing, you can change your shutter speed, you can change your ISO. There's so many different things that you can do. And you can change the outputs, media settings, and you have your gesture controls, um, you your zoom, you change your audio, a whole load of different things. So let's place you here. So I have you there, you there, and you there. So that is the Obsbot Tail Air. So my review could be way longer than this and I can go through so many different bits and pieces that you can do with these devices. But I'm just gonna cut it there just to let you know what my thoughts and feelings are on these devices. Now there are some pros and cons that come with these devices, like with any device really. But I'm gonna start off with the cons. So the first con I would say is the zoom. Now when you're recording 4K and you're getting that 4K glory that you get from these devices, when you zoom in, it does take away the quality of the picture. And when I say that, it's in terms of the actual output. So you start off with 4K and as you're zooming in, you're not actually getting 4K anymore. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I initially thought that this was an optical zoom, um, but for some reason, even if it is, it doesn't really look like that, but depending on how you use it, you can get around this really easy. The second kind I would say about this is the software is a little bit tricky here and there, it does take a while to really understand how best to use it, how to get their cameras to record, how to get them to sync, how to get them to, you know, broadcast live to YouTube. But take your time, you will get there, you will figure it out as I did, but you just gotta play around. And there's lots of information out there on the internet that will teach you how to do it. The third kind I would say is sometimes the colors don't always go as you expect them to. I had a few issues at the beginning, but with the firmware updates, this has been resolved. Now, con number four is when it comes down to this little remote here. Um, it's not really a big con. It's just the fact that this was supposed to be part of something else because on the side here, you've got some connections as if it was part of a bigger unit. Now, it does make it look a little bit ugly on one side, but the functionality is still the same. You can do everything that you need to. You have the joystick here. You have the ability to change the different cameras. You've got the ability to change the different zooms that you might set in here. Uh, you got your pointer. You can change a whole variety of different things. So it is a real good addition. And it's just a design for me. I wish they just added something that you could clip on here and just make it feel rounded. And last but not least, I would say the price of these devices, uh, they're a little bit pricey, but for what you're getting, you know, and there are other devices on the market that are around the same price. But if you're thinking about something where you can control it all from one screen, you can do live streams straight from the software, you can connect it to your network and your building and, and do a variety of different things, podcasting, YouTubing, live streaming you know this is a really good setup so if you want to be doing multiple different things these may be the devices that you need so let's move on to the pros and the first thing i would say about this is the software when you actually figure out how to use it it's a great piece of software because you can have all these set up and you can see exactly what you're doing when you're doing it. Now, previous setups that I've had, I've had to have like different monitors. So I can see this camera and that camera and see what that camera's doing. And then I might have to do a lot of running around and, you know, using different remotes to switch things on and setting all kinds of settings and zooms physically. But with this, you could do everything from the software, which is a major plus. The 4K quality that you get from these cameras is great. You can do 4K 30. So you have a variety of different quality of video that you want to be recorded. Now, the fact that these are small and lightweight means that you can just pick them up and move around and do things in different places. You don't have to be carrying around a whole load of tech. You can just take these three cameras in this nice carry case. So it's really nice that they actually put this together 
and it really does do the trick okay so you got space to put your camera in there and then any of the peripherals go in the other side zip that up and you're ready to go so you get all the cables you don't get a charger but you get a really good USB-C to USB-C cable and you get adapters as well so those are my pros and cons and my overall review on the Obspot Tail Air and I gotta say it's a good device if you're just starting off your YouTube channel or you're trying to expand and you want the ability to do many different things maybe this is the device for you if it is check out the link in the description and purchase from there and help the channel so i can bring more content to you guys and before you go check out one of these videos right here Peace.